So this is my one to four scale porcelain doll village. I've been doing some work on it. Several years ago, I started collecting 16 inch porcelain dolls at um, the Goodwill store. They seem to have a lot of them. And so I started buying them for like six or eight dollars a piece. And I brought them home and switched their clothes with each other and made some clothes for some of them, turned some of the girls into boys, cut their hair, and made boy clothes. I found this halberdier doll that was already a boy. And then this one was a girl, and I cut her hair, and I knit a little sweater and I made a little suit and when I started collecting the dolls I decided they needed a place to live so I had inherited this big house from my mother in 2016 or 20 yeah and I had lots of space so I decided to create a whole village and this is one side this is actually what I'm showing you here is a Ambison shower curtain I think this is Ambison it might be another brand most of the ones I buy are Ambison on Amazon and they have amazing artwork on them and I use them for all sorts of decorating in my house. So this one I'm using is the exterior of one of my uh, doll village buildings and I haven't attached the other side yet. And here's some other dolls. I knitted this uh, mittens and scarf for this doll. This was this coat was actually on an angel that I found at Goodwill and I removed it and I'm using it on this doll. So this is the toy shop. I made buildings out of cardboard boxes and also out of some storage containers that were in my mother's garage. And I just realized that I've been doing this video all in vertical, and I meant to do it in horizontal. So I'll continue this one vertical, and then I'll make one in horizontal. This is the train station, and it's the very first building that I made. <laughs> 